Okay, friends. Turn that down to a dull roar, kind of like that. What about, like, what would happen if we kind of, because I got you guys on the cool phone holder thing that August Snunicky, August Hunicky gave me, friends, right? Cool guy, August, eh? Good tree worker, that fella. If you're a, if you're a, a, um, a, a young tree climber out there and you're looking to do stuff kind of, you know, newfangled and and safe and, and proper, not like me. I'm kind of haywire, old school. Rope, uh, you know, a rope and a freaking another rope, maybe, if we're lucky. <laughs> right? But August there, he's got all the latest goodies and he sells equipment and, oh, man. Um, okay. Sorry. So, now, what do you think of this? Anyways, go over and see August Hunnicky. He's got a good channel. Good guy. He's got a good crew. Uh, old Damien there and, and Adam. Friends, I'm sorry. I'm just... Oh, I think I got it. Is that better, do you think, friends? So you can kind of kind of see the whole gig? I think it is. You guys are going to have to tell me. So let's do this just to get... Just, just so we get... A little bit more of like right like that. That that gives us oh yeah. See you just picking up the flame and then and then and the holy cow. Let's do it. Good. Operation Bucket Special. I got another wicked stamp from my buddy Patrick, friends. It's deadly. I might shoot this video out to you. Oh! I should almost turn it on freaking. Damn it. I wonder if I can. No, I can't. Well, we're just gonna have to hope nobody phones, friends. Right? That's gotta go for it. I don't think it's gonna work.
my boy was rigging out the trees there the other day. He was having a good time. That was his first big top rigging job. He done good. He done real good. This is, it's it, the, ridiculous. They are friends. So, I hope you guys have gone over and checked out Bayou Country Power Saws and iron horse chainsaws. These look so freaking deadly. I love 
love when they come out like this. That's like four done. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm not joking you. I'm, uh, you know how we all, not all of us, but maybe somebody can relate to what I'm saying. If we think about getting in shape again or getting strong to do the simple things in life again. You know what I mean? I'm talking getting in and out of the car. Um, just simple stuff, friends. You know, uh, basic day-to-day -day things, putting on your boots, pulling your boots up. If you've got any back troubles or you're feeling a little bit, maybe you're packing an extra couple pounds or something, you're just not feeling, that freaking ball saved my life and it's doing it again today. We'll get back to BS in here in a minute. We're 13 minutes now. No phone calls. I love it. Gosh, that looks nice on there. Shoulder. That's it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, friends. Yeah, she comes up nice. Patrick, thank you, buddy. Okay. That's probably good for now. I yeah, tweaked my shoulder there doing something. Okay. What else? Oh. Matter of fact. I'll leave that alone. Good. So now when you got that hot, ooh, turn that off. Let's do this. Put that down on the cold steel, turn the propane off. Friends. Hey, check this out. Okay, ooh, as a matter of fact, just dawned on me friends did you ever see have you ever seen this is really strange if you think about it I'm gonna explain it to you but I'm, I'm I feel like I'm getting lucky on the uh, I got no airplane thing on so I don't want this to end I want to be able to end the video without a phone call okay the Basque pattern have you seen these axes friends I think 
one of the big YouTubers did a, did a video on this thing at one point. It's a beach handle. It's this style of an ax. Right? So the, the handles are replaceable. It's a wonderful idea. It truly is. Uh, it's, it, it's neat, friends. The profile is groovy. I've used it. It splits really nice. So check this out. So it's called Ernietta. Ernietta, I think. Something like that. I can't probably pronounce it. But I believe it's sharp. They, they make a nice axe. It's sexy, actually. That is a sexy axe. Beautiful lines, nice contours. Be it, it is a very nice axe. And it performs okay, friends, from what I've done with it, okay? It does. It's nice. Cool idea. Um, check this out from Australia. My buddy Will and Kayla, his lovely gal, they sent me a, a, an axe head or two before, and they sent me a couple others. And friends, look at this. Look, it's a plum. But, but the trip is, this just came a few days ago. And my friends from, it's toasty hot in here. You can see I'm sweating because the heater was on there. Look at this. Look at this. Hardly any pull on that axe. Do you notice that? Look, at, that has none. But this one barely has a pull on it. Most axes, friends. Here's a regular axe. Sorry. See? Isn't that neat? So... It's a plum and it is, it, it's beautiful. And I'm gonna put it on a whiskey river. Freaking look at it. <laughs> it looks like a competition ax to me, friends, doesn't it? It looks like a chopper. I'm really excited about making this ax. This is gonna be hard to get rid of. Oh, cause it's from Australia, from Will, our buddy. I'm in a freaking good mood right now. I just, gosh, I get going, eh? I do, I feel so good right now. Lucky and fortunate, grateful, you know, just, I, yeah, I just, I do, friends. I, I think it's because my kids are growing up and they're making me proud to be their dad. Like the boy and Rita, my daughter, she's, they're all working. Everybody's working. We're working as a family now. Like, it's just not, like, I'm not feeding their mouths. I mean, I'm feeding their mouths. Yes, of course, we all live at home, but. But Hogan's making his own dough now. Rita's making her own dough. Friends, I'm at an interesting stage of my life. <laughs> I love it. I think that's partially why I've, I'm feeling, well, there's lots going on, as you know, friends. The History Channel, the, the, the Axemen show's coming out. We're very excited about our part in that show. Uh, uh, History Channel, for a couple of cedar frickin' bumpkins that have been scratching their whole lives away to, to make ends meet. And it just, it almost doesn't make sense in a, in a way, but it does at the same time. So I'm just excited and I talk lots when I'm excited. Um, you, know, you know what I watched this morning? I wanna to touch on this for a second. I used to follow UFC hard, steady, okay? And there was a few characters that I really liked and a few characters that was so-so and a few characters I didn't like. Well, Michael Bisbing was kind of a big mouth. He's known as a big mouth. But, you know something? I saw the, the his kind of his story, okay? And friends, he he had been... Dan Henderson, I, I got to be honest, I love Dan Henderson. And I loved what he did to Michael Bisbing. I, 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 Bisbing was flapping at the gums big time. And, and Henderson taught him a lesson. I think a lot of you know what I'm talking about right now. And this is odd for me to talk about this because I'm not a violent person, but I did enjoy the UFC, me and the boy did when he was younger and, and we followed it for a while. But what I'm talking about right now was the sheer hard work and will, and 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 he was, most fighters are, like the story of the, the, they're broke. You know, they're working jobs, that they're freaking broke, but they're talented and they invest in themselves and some have it in them, to stick it out and, and get beat down. There's an old saying, and it was by Rocky Balboa. It's not how hard you can hit. It's how hard you can get hit and get up and keep going. And that Bisbing did that. I've done that. 
I know people that have done that. And those are the kind of people that inspire me, friends. Okay, Bisbing actually inspired me watching that thing this morning while I was making a video. I had it going in the other year and I was watching it. And uh, that inspired me. But I feel like I'm getting real lucky right now without a phone call coming in so I can say goodbye to you properly without this freaking video just ending. And if it does, I apologize. I am gonna ship it straight out to you. So be aware if it ships away, I love you all. And I thank you so much. And friends, follow your freaking dreams. Don't give up on your, on your things that are inside your gut. Friends, I, as you guys know, YouTube has, has bettered my life my life and it bettered lots of people's lives that come to this channel they talk freely about it in the comment section they send me emails from the positivity that happens in this channel um i i, I do feel uncomfortable talking in that fashion about myself or something of mine or i just it doesn't feel right but it's a fact it's a fact and i'm so so proud of it friends and i just think we have something special here I truly, truly do. And it's the people. It's always about the people. That's it. It's always about your people. If you run a successful business and you're never there, then you've got great people. You know, there's an old book that I read called The Empire of Wood. And it was the conglomeration of Macmillan and Bloedel, which is M&B on Vancouver Island here. And it was an amazing book. And one thing that, that, that Macmillan, who donated freaking Cathedral Grove to the Parks BC years ago and saved it from logging it, uh, Macmillan, H.R. Macmillan, this is what he said and it stood out for me because I was running a business at that time. Hire good people and pay them well. And that's the, that's the gem I took from that book. I kind of knew that, but to hear it from a man like that just made it concealed the deal for me that don't look for the cheapest labor hire good men and pay them well because you can leave your site and leave a good man there and go away and do and go do more that's if you're at that stage of your your life i'm not i'm 180 degrees from that me and my boy are tripping around in an old 67 pickup truck cutting trees and loving life so, because um, I was kind of bigger at one point and I enjoy being back now. You know, I, I really do. Because I wouldn't be able to do this, what I'm doing. And none of this stuff would have happened in my life if I hadn't have pulled back. So friends, I just wanted to come on. I wanted to thank my friend Ozzy from Switzerland and his beautiful, beautiful girl. Uh, they were such nice people. He just, he emailed me and said, we're in Vancouver. We're coming to Nanaimo. I have something for you. Can we meet? I said, of course we can. I took them. We, we met at Tim Hortons. We went for a great coffee. He gave me a nice, nice shirt that I'm going to wear. And he gave me this axe. And I took him to where Hogan was cutting that tree down in the last video or the video that you guys are going to see coming up. And uh, we hung out for a few hours and it was wonderful. That was special to me, being able to do that. To have time to do whatever I want. It was so, so fun. We helped Victor out on that job. So anyway, friends, I just blasted out five axes with a stamp. I'm mailing axes today. I will probably working tomorrow, but next week we're gonna start shipping a bunch of axes. So be prepared and keep your eye on your freaking tracking numbers. Friends, I love you all. Thank you so much. I think we got real lucky with no freaking commercials coming in or no telephone calls coming in. Uh, let's turn this off and go. I'm pushing my limits here. I feel it over and out, friends. Be kind to one another and follow your freaking dreams. Don't give up on that stuff that you did when you thought about when you were a kid that you think maybe I could do that or I'd like to do that or make time for it. Make time for you. Make time for yourself. Invest in yourself. I know I sound like I'm shooting off, but friends, it's our life. This is our life. It's our time here. Don't settle. Don't settle. Over and out, friends. Be kind.